All right, well, turning to your legislative watch, it's a debate over daylight. Idaho's House Majority Leader says our state should stop observing daylight saving time, but that's not so easy in a state that spans two time zones. Glenn Beebe takes a look at the proposal and what difference that hour can really make. Daylight saving makes a big difference. It has an effect on your body and even your sleep patterns. It's not the first time a bill like this has been introduced, but one of the co-sponsors is hopeful that having some House leadership on board will give it a better chance of passing. As most of the country gets ready to set their clocks ahead one hour, some Idaho lawmakers are trying to stop the process altogether. Representative Jason Monks of Meridian says he co-signed a bill to do just that because of the real issues people experience. Um, there's more accidents that happen in and around the, the week of daylight savings times, um, whether they're on-the-job accidents or they're uh, motor vehicle accidents. And so we're talking about people that you know are being affected. Not turning the clocks forward or back may have its benefits, but it also comes with a lot of confusion. In just over a week, every state, with the exception of Arizona and Hawaii, will spring forward an hour. But if this bill passes, Representative Monk says we would stay in daylight saving permanently, which means in November when states fall back an hour, southern Idaho will stay on mountain daylight time, which means then we'll be on the same as the central time zone and the mountain time zone will be an hour behind us. That means in the winter, Boise and Chicago would be on the same time. The Idaho Panhandle, which is already on Pacific time, would switch to mountain time in the winter. Monks admits the change will have benefits and drawbacks, including darker mornings during the winter. You know, we are affecting, you know, what it's going to look like when you get up in the morning and, and um, definitely a concern. And so that's some of the questions I think that, that um, the legislature would have to answer as far as what's, what's the best path forward. The bill has been approved to be printed, but still has to get a hearing before it can move forward in the process. One of the benefits of still having daylight saving is that it reduces electricity use around the country by about 1% per day. Back to you. Well, thanks, Glenn. Speaking of changing your clocks, that is coming up soon. Daylight saving time starts the Sunday after next, so March 8th. We'll spring forward so everyone loses an hour of sleep that night. And if those state lawmakers Glenn told us about get their way, that would be the last time Idahoans have to adjust their clocks. And only two other states have opted out of daylight saving time. Most of Arizona, except the Navajo Nation, keeps their clocks the same. And the same goes for Hawaii. Only time will tell whether Idaho will join them.